It's math time! Hello students, so welcome to our online class. So we will discuss the undefined terms, fundamental postulates, and theorems in geometry. Are you ready? Let's go! One, two, three, come on! The first undefined terms in geometry is a point. So a point represents an exact location. So it is represented with a dot. So it has no size, no width, no length, and no depth. Capital letters like P is frequently used to denote points. So in our illustration here, so what are the points? Okay, very good. So that is point A, point C, point P, and point B. The next undefined terms is a line. A line is defined as a line of points that extends infinitely in two directions. It has one dimension and length, so points that are on the same line are called collinear points. If there is no line on which all of the points lie, then they are non-collinear points. So when we say collinear points, so these are the points that lie on the same point. So dito sa example natin na line, so this is line AB. So A, point A, and point B are collinear points. And then, pag naglagay tayo ng isang point na wala sa line, for example, point C. So point A, point C, and point B are non-collinear points. Okay? So hindi sila naglalay yung tatlong point na yon doon sa same line na yun. Okay, so third undefined terms is a plane. So a plane is defined as a flat surface that extends infinitely in all directions. So it has length and width only. It has no thickness. So in our example, so this is plane ABC. So in our example, our plane is named using the three points that lie on the same plane. Okay, so let's have here three illustrations. So let's have letter A. So we have here a uh, line AB. And then points A, point B, point C, and point D. And then the collinear points are point A and point B. And the non-collinear points are point A point C, and point D. Okay, in letter B. So, this is a line segment KL. So, we have two endpoints. So, point K and point L. So, the difference between line and a segment. So, line extends infinitely in both directions. And then, yung line segment natin, meron siyang endpoint. Okay, our last illustration in letter C. So, this is plane STO. And we have ray IR. And we also have points S, point T, point O, point R, and point I. The coplanar points are point STO. So, these are the points that lie on the same plane. And then the non-coplanar points, so this is point R and point I. So these are the points that do not lie on the same plane. And now, let's discuss about the postulate and theorem in geometry. Let's define postulate. So postulate is a statement that is assumed true without proof. So, these statements can be used as a reasons in proving some mathematical statements. And a theorem is a true statement that can be proven. So, once a theorem is proven, it can also be used as a reason in proving other statements. So, ang pinagkaibang postulate and theorem. Si postulate, hindi mo na siya kailangan i-prove para mapatunayan na siya ay totoo. And then, si theorem, kailangan mo muna siyang i-prove para mapatunayan mo na yun ay totoo. So, in improving some mathematical statements, so si postulate, pwede na natin siyang gamitin as a reason. Si theorem, hindi muna natin siya pwedeng gamitin as a reason sa proving. 
kailangan mo muna natin siyang i-prove na totoo. So, here are the seven postulates. So, postulates is also axioms. So, postulate number one. A line contains at least two points. Postulate number two. A plane contains at least three non-collinear points. Postulate number three. Through any two points, there is exactly one line. Postulate number four. Through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. Postulate number five. If two points lie in the plane, then the line joining them lies in that plane. Postulate number six. If two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Postulate number 7, a space contains 4 non-coplanar points. And now, here are the 3 theorems in geometry. Theorem number 1, if two lines intersect, then they intersect in exactly one point. Theorem number 2, if a point lies outside a line, then exactly one plane contains both the line and point. Theorem number 3, if two lines intersect, then exactly one plane contains both lines. Let's have a practice exercise. So state the postulate or theorem you would use to justify the statement made about each figure. Okay, so let's have letter A. One plane contains A, B, and C. Letter B, only one line contains point Q and T. Letter C, line KL lines in plane P. Letter D, plane G and plane H intersect along line I. Letter E, there is another point besides point W on line M. Letter F, one plane contains S and T. Letter G, one plane contains line AC and point B. And then last, letter H, lines Q and R intersect at M and at no other point. 